Hey, it's Ryan with Parts Doctor, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the door vent blower motor on this LG dishwasher. We need a Phillips and flat blade screwdriver. Let's get started. This part is comprised of two pieces, the fan motor and the vent. If the fan motor fails, the dishwasher may not dry properly, or it may be noisier during the dry cycle. If the vent fails, the wax motor may not open or close the vent properly, which may also cause issues with not drying properly or water accumulating inside the housing. For this repair, unplug or disconnect power to the dishwasher. With the door open, remove the six Phillips screws along the outside edge. It is easiest to sit cross-legged under the door to support it. Then, slide the panel downwards to release it. Partially close the door, tilt the cover down, and pry on the bottom corner to remove it. Next, remove the screw on the vent duct and pull down to release the locking tabs. Now, disconnect the two electrical connectors. LG recommends using a flat blade screwdriver to pry on the blower cover to release it. We found it best to use a thin tool to pry on the locking tabs to release and remove it. Now remove the three Phillips screws holding the assembly in place. Make sure you support the other side. Then close the door and remove the motor assembly. If you have a bad door vent blower motor assembly and you need to purchase a new one, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to make sure that you're searching with the model number from the tag on your dishwasher to make sure you get the correct part. To install the motor assembly, insert the top at an angle, hold in place, open the door, align the screw holes, and reinstall the three screws. Now make sure these two tabs on the blower cover are facing the top of the door. Insert one of the sides, rotate, and push to snap in place. Then close the door and reconnect the electrical connectors. Next, reinstall the vent duct by sliding it over the housing and pushing until it locks in place. Then reinstall the screw. To install the door, align the notches on the door with the hinges, tilt up, and slide in place. While holding the panel in place, open the door and reinstall the screws. With everything put back together, test it out to make sure that everything's functioning properly. So that's it for this video. If you have any tips or tricks of your own, let us know in the comments below. And if you like fixing things, please consider subscribing.